Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Ah uh, saya sendiri ni bagi yang tak kenal lagi asyik berwhatsapp bersedusuk CNN kan. Um, so hari ni alhamdulillah kita we will have this uh, presentation uh, talk by Dr. Nik Rahim uh, on self publishing and also popular writing. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, get some knowledge from I, I see him as an experienced writer. Uh, has been a columnist uh, for Utusan Malaysia for how many years, sir? No, 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 no. Uh, one year. One year, yeah. Like like me as well, just one year with Vita Harian. So more or less the same. And then uh, have published his own book as well uh, by using self-publishing method. So that is something new for me as well. And maybe we can learn on how to do that now from Dr. Nick. And then, um, yes, I would like to... Uh, Give the microphone to Dr. Nick And sorry, uh, I would like to apologize as well Because the technical issue just now Yes, so there are, This is the first event So there are some things that is out of my control as well yeah? But uh, Alhamdulillah We are able to make it today And we have several um, Participants as well Who are basically not from the team Like Puan Adiba yeah? And then some others So thank you so much for coming And uh, supporting this event So yeah, I would like to pass the hand to Dr. Nick. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi wa anawa. Okay, today uh, I'm trying my best to speak in English, even though basically my English is terrible. You know, uh, English for me is uh, my, my third language after Malay and Arabic. So I would prefer to speak Arabic basically. But uh, oh, uh, I didn't have any choice today because, oh, because we have uh, we have to respect our uh, guests uh, today. We will also be uh, with us today. Alhamdulillah. Uh, okay, before we start, I want to congratulate all of us for being able to be here today. Alhamdulillah, and I really appreciate your presence today. Yeah. Uh, it's not because um, because I'm I'm not giving anything special here. I'm just sharing what I I did, you know, previously and um, some of of all the effort I did, you know, come up with some results. But I don't know whether whatever I share with you today will benefit you in any way. I don't know, but I try my best, inshallah. Okay, uh, I really appreciate your uh, presence here today because uh, this is a big spot for me. You know, because uh, there are many experienced writers here, I know. Then um, probably we, we can share something uh, together, inshallah. Today. Okay? Uh, and also, I would like to congratulate uh, our first director of uh, UCM Pool Writers, Writers Pool. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, for being able to conduct the first program. I'm, I'm actually proud of being the first one who actually... You know, in the in the in the list of uh, speakers, Alhamdulillah. Okay, alright. This is a little bit about, about myself. Okay, my name is Nick Rahim bin Nick Wajiz. As uh, Doctor uh, Sureni has mentioned just now, uh, I used to be used to be a former uh, columnist for Autism Malaysia. Not not long. It's about about one year before I left for Brunei. After that, I stopped. Okay, and also I am the author of this book, this beautiful book. Okay. Uh, kenapa saya tidak jadi jutawan di Sydney Malay? Um, actually, he had been translated. Alhamdulillah. Mm. Uh, very soon, we'll be come up. We'll, we'll come up with the English version, inshallah. And after that, uh, I, I plan basically to be uh, the book to be translated into seven major languages, um, inshallah. Bismillah. And I, 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 I used to to talk to uh, Datuk Professor uh, Musa Ahmad. But it's not it's not exaggerated, I think. And uh, I said, Prof, I want to conquer the world with my book. Okay, it's not it's uh, I, uh, it's, uh, it's it's big talk. I mean, okay, don't get It's not it's not that. Actually, basically, this is my dream. I want I want the message of my book. Even though it's not it's not something new. It's basically it's a very simple thing, but it's very basic. You know, if if you can. Practice whatever I mention here, inshallah you will become a Malayana. Even though I'm not a Malayana myself, so that's why they're, they're, I mean, because because the topic itself is not how to be a Malayana. I said why I didn't become a Malayana. So I know the reason why I did not become a Malayana. 
Because in this book, you know, at the blog here, uh, I wrote, when I was working in Brunei, I collected total income about 740,000. It's not much for all of us, you know, for all of you, maybe not me, okay? 740,000, if I, I, I have some knowledge on invest, investment, for example, and how to save my money for the for more benefits, for, for example, so I would not have spent all my money. So the problem is, I spent all the money, 740,000 within the few years, and then, you know, it ended up zero. So I know this book, actually, my intention is very clear. I think I want to share whatever I experience with other people so people don't do the same thing I did then. As a result, they will become millionaire. It's a very simple uh, principle here. Okay, this it, what did you do with that money? Ah, you have to read my book. You have to read my book. Wait for the English version. <laughs> okay, I share a little bit. I share a little bit with you. The English version is short. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Okay, basically, uh, a little bit before we start uh, further, uh, since you asked the question. Basically, through my experience, People don't become a millionaire because not because of they don't have money, but they don't know how to manage the money. That's the, main, the most important, uh, the, the, the main problem here. You have a lot of money, but you don't know what to do. I'm from a kampung, you know, from a village. I never have that that amount of money every month. So if you have twelve thousand, about about about, about professor's uh, salary now. I mean, when I was in Brunei, it's, it's fifteen years back. No, it's not long, it's and it's not new. It's 15 years back. If you have 12,000 each month, and you don't have any knowledge, why you should save your money? You spend 12,000 this month, and the other month you get another 12,000, and then again and again every month you get 12,000. You spend and you live a luxury life a little bit. You know, have you have Mercedes Benz, you have a Pajero, you have a you know, you go and uh, drive. Uh, you know, travel, for example, uh, business class. Etiquette, you know, staying in the five star hotel. So my money end up, you know, spending and spending and spending. I've, I've been spending the money a lot, and then you only realize the importance of saving and investment when everything is stopped. Doctor, that twelve thousand is in Brunei dollars. No, 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 it's Malaysian money. It's Malaysian. It's Brunei Brunei dollars. It's too much. It's twelve thousand. It's, it's more or less about, about our salary here in, in numbers about 4,000 something like that. But if you convert to Brunei money, uh, Malaysian money, it will become that 12,000. You know? So the reason, the main reason, I always say in my book, and actually I, my book, my writing, very much influenced by Robert Kiyosaki, if you happen to read the book. So even even the, the, the background, the color, of the, more or less the same as this. Uh, I say, I'm, I consider him as my mentor, even though I never see him. I, I, don't, I know him, but he does not know me. You know? That's, that's uh, the thing. Yeah? But, that, uh, I always repeated, you know, this word to many of uh, my students, you know, my friends. I said, if you cannot, one thing, one thing, if you can, you can take out, I mean, if you can benefit from this one, and if you can practice this on only one thing from this, this, this room today, if you come up with this, what is idea, you can practice it today, I can assure you that you will be much richer than other people who do not practice this one. Control your desire of spending. Okay, on, can you do that? Online, huh? online business is crazy now. Yes. Then you, you need to be stronger. You need to be stronger then. Okay? Yes, you know, believe me, believe me, believe me. Eh? If you can do only one thing today and throughout your, your, your life with your family, you educate your children, Never spend anything, anything unnecessary. Necessary means you cannot live without it, number one. If you go to the shopping complex, you see something, is it important? What is important? What is important? Is it, is it, I mean, you cannot live without it? If you can't live without it, then go for it. I, I make a simple example. What is the difference between transport and car? What you need in your life? Going to work, you need transport, you need a car. Transport. You need a transport. Transport means anything, anything that can bring you from one point to another is a transport. If you need a motorcycle, go for a motorcycle. That's what you need. You don't need a car, for example. And people say, oh, it's raining. Oh, is it raining every day? 
Es un video, ¿eh? Es un video, es un video, es un video, es un video. Por ejemplo, si you need a car, say, let's say, you say, car is important because car is, uh, you know, something that is uh, you, you're for your safety and everything. So, do you need a big car? It depends. If you are not married, for example, so can't Jay will do for you. But now I'm a lecturer, I have uh, 7,000 ringgit per uh, month, you know, monthly income. Why should I go for can't Jay? It's, it's, it's not fit with my status and all that. Then you go for something not important. There's some things that I'm doing. In my book, I say, dialogue with nafsu. Dialogue with your desire. This one, one important, uh, you know, thing in my book. I'm, I'm not promoting the book. I'm just talking about my book, you know. It's up to you to buy or not. Eh? But if you buy, you know, it's good for me and good for you too. <laughs> so, one thing I want to share here, also, is about controlling your desire to spend. Spending is, is, is really good. You feel, oh my God, I've been waiting for this one for so long. I, you know, save many, many years and years and then get Mercedes Benz. Then you buy Mercedes Benz. But what happened to the car? I used to have the Mercedes Benz. Then I feel so proud of having it. You know, driving, wow, like a um, VIP or something like that. People don't care at all about you. you know, sorry, the you know, I know you're driving Mercedes Benz. <laughs> it's not thinking about you. I'm thinking about myself. I'm thinking about myself, right? So you feel so well. You try it. If you don't believe me, you try it once. You know, it doesn't matter what make you know, what model it is. As long as you have star in front of the car, you feel wow. You look at the star all the time, no? Something like that, no? But you end up what? Yeah. So this what happened. So all after you stop everything, I I thought I I was uh, because when I was in Brunei, I, I'm I'm quite famous, you know. <coughs> I'm quite like a celebrity or something like that, you know. At that particular, you know, years, if I go somewhere, people will notice, notice me, you know. Oh, Dr. Nick, salam alaikum. How come, because, doctor, how come you become so popular? Yeah, maybe because I got married with a Bruneian... Uh, oh, yeah. Who is there? My wife, yeah? It's <laughs> <So> Bruneian. <laughs> <laughs> now, basically, um, I was lucky at that, at that time, because when I came, I, I came uh, at, at the right time. At that particular time, uh, there was someone who is so famous, you know, uh, always appear in television and all that. But suddenly, because of some reason, he, he retired and then he left. He was a Malaysian. Dr. Um, I forgot his name. He got famous. Then he left. Then, when he left, obviously he left a vacuum there. There's no one actually uh, going for television very much at that particular time. So, it happened that my, uh, one of my, my students, you know, knows somebody inside, you know, the television or TV. And then uh, she said, okay, Ustaz, you can give her a try. So I go. I started with that one. Mm -hmm. Then it happened that, you know, Brunei people, you know, they, they, they love Malaysian. You see? They love Malaysian, right? <laughs> <laughs> they love Malaysian. So they, 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 they like our slang or that. <laughs> okay. So what happened that from, starting from there, you know, I, I just go on and you know, they keep inviting me and go in television, radio, and give a talk in front of uh, VIPs and all that. So I'm, I'm quite, you know, famous at that particular time, you know. Uh, you know, looking at that situation at that particular at that time, I say, oh, okay, I think I take for granted. I think, you know, after this contract, they will be will they renew again and again and again. And even I thought of being a uh, Brunei, Brunei citizen, citizen for that matter, you know. But it's a list of, after six years, I got some conflicts with, with um, the dean at, the, at that time, and then suddenly, you know, um, the head of the department had been forced not to recommend my renewal. Then, then this, that's it, gone, all gone, all gone. Only then you realize, oh my God, you start from scratch. It's, it's normal for me at that time, because uh, after I left Brunei, I went to Miri Sarawak, starting a business without any plan or anything because I just waiting again and hoping to get back to Brunei and working in Brunei again. But, you know, I always said, I always said, never or try not to make mistakes in your life. Never and try your best not to make any mistake in any, anything, in any aspect. Once you make mistake, it takes years and years and years for you to rectify it. And even until now, I got, I used to get 20 years back, almost 20 years now, 15 years, that opportunity came to me. 
and I do not utilize it properly, you know, and then it's gone forever, never come back. I was always hoping to go back to Brunei, even now, even today, mm. but it never come. So the thing is, you have money. The one who are rich actually not because of the the, the money they get every month, but because of what they they, they save. Okay, what they say is not what you get. You get twenty thousand, you spend all you know. You're not a rich person. Clear enough? Yeah. What makes you rich is when you spend your money. You get your money. You spend wisely. You spend only when it's necessary. Then you save. I make simple, simple example. If you manage to save, let's say, from your salary one thousand a month. Okay, one thousand a month. If you manage to save, to save. What does it mean? After one year, you manage to save up twelve thousand, right? After two years, twenty-four thousand. Okay, with that twenty-four thousand, you will be able to buy one house. Simple example. House, you know, within that that only maybe now you you cannot get about two thousand forty. You know, all three. If if you save for for let's say three years. Yeah, you are talking about thirty-six thousand. Okay, let's say we're talking about thirty-six thousand because the rate of the house now about about that that range, you know. Okay, with that three uh, thirty-six thousand, you can use that money for down payment to buy a new house, you know, worth about three hundred sixty thousand, and then you rent it out, and you're getting about one thousand a month. After one year, after one year, normally based on my experience, the appreciation of the the You know the property is about ten percent a year. So meaning that the the house that you bought this year for three hundred and six thousand will become double after ten years. What if you have two houses? After ten twenty years, you will become a millionaire. That what should happen to me? But it didn't happen because why? I love spending than saving. I love you know going around rather than you know. You know, make an investment. That's the reason. Can I give another question? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. No, we are, we are we are two ways communication here. We, we are just interaction uh, type of uh, talk. Yeah, yeah. Spending money, you like it or your wife? Because <laughs> <laughs> there are two cases. Uh huh. Spending money, you you like? I like. Financial uh, minister is good in managing. Uh huh. You, you cannot lose a lot of money, right? Yeah. So here, play role. I mean, the lady also play role in. Lady, well. So how she da- uh, doesn't play role in your. Well, case. ladies, alhamdulillah, they play their very good roles. You know, they always, in, you know, about advising us, reminding us. But who has the power? <laughs> who has the power? Okay. I mean, my wife used to, uh, to 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 tell me. When I was I was in Brunei, I bought you know I, I used to spend twenty thousand over the internet. That was fifteen years ago. Twenty thousand on the internet on eBay. eBay at that time eBay was very famous. At that time you know internet just about you know just started something like that. But but just quite quite well known with eBay until now they have in Malaysia as well. You know I like equestrian, <coughs> so I bought all the boots, all the you know cap, everything from USA. I bought the uh, one gadget, you know, they call it a CD writer, CD writer, CD recorder from you can connect directly to the television, and then it will record automatically. You, I mean, you, that one, that type of gadget was not yet in arrived in Malaysia. I bought it from from Hong Kong somewhere. Twenty thousand, crazy, man. Well, okay, maybe this. Is, I, I mean, my and then my wife said, bang. Um, Mumbai Z ini, now what said to me, darling, this is like wasting your money. Why you should you buy this one? It's Mumbai Z. It's wasting, you know. It's Mumbai. In Mumbai Z, you know, 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 you But this has the benefit for me. I need it. And then what do I say? Okay lah. So why pay the roll? But at the end of the day, 
We are the boss, right? <laughs> we make decision. This is our money. Okay? Until now, now I, I totally agree with her. Now I totally agree with her. <laughs> but not before. Okay, that's the problem. Alright, okay. Um, okay, we move on, inshallah. Okay, this is a little of uh, you know my background here. Uh, I, I graduated from Al Azhar University, so that's why I said my English uh, basically you know you know like you can understand a little bit there yeah, there you know sometimes you don't understand it but but if you do not understand it, please raise your hand. I'll try to explain you you know further inshallah. Okay, this is uh, I speak a bit better I think. <laughs> okay, because of my background. Okay, PhD in Islamic Criminal Law. Um, any working experience? You I am. I used to work at U M. Uh, from 1999, and then UBD, Nusibunah Salam, then Mahatafi um, Negeri uh, Pahang for about, about three years, and then started from 2014. I, I'm here, married, alhamdulillah, with 15 children, okay? Oh. Uh, one, two. Okay, that one, we deserve it later. We're not talking about that, that, that now. <laughs> Okay. Maybe, maybe the doctor is interested to know how. <laughs> okay. It will come later in different topics. Okay. Okay. okay, this is a little of uh, my um, writing experience as uh, Dr. Um, Siti. Siti, yeah? Can this call Siti as well? Okay, colonies for Autosan Malaysia, 90, about two years, more or less. But when I graduated, uh, I got my PhD about 1996. Uh, 1996, and then uh, 1998, you know, I um, basically uh, completed, uh, I mean, stopped from being columnist because of, I traveled to Brunei. Yeah? And of course, journals, proper presentation, translator, okay, also, I, I'm also a translator. Uh, I managed to translate two important books. One is uh, what, uh, when I was first graduated. Uh, if you find the book uh, entitled of uh, Tipu Daya, Menghalalkan riba. The book written by uh, Dr. Yusuf Karadawi. I, 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 I met him once, and I said, if you want to translate, make sure all the important, you know, elements in there, you know, the contents correct. I, I met him once at UAE. You know, I, I told him that I, I translated the book. And then also the this uh, is last year. It's not. It's not last year before I joined. It was. Um, 19, uh, 2014, 2000, about 14, something like that, end of 2014, I, with, together with my friend, uh, we translated the book called uh, Al Khawarizmi. Uh, yeah, the book called Al Khawarizmi, we translated it uh, and then published by ITBM. Okay, that one. Al Khawarizmi is uh, algebra. The book, that was the most difficult uh, work, uh, basically, uh, the translation, because it's, it's, I'm not a mathematician, uh, I, I don't go for mathematics, I fail <laughs> all the time, <laughs> mathematics, and then, then go and translate the mathematics books from the, the renowned scholar, you know, very well known, Al Khawarizmi, oh my god, but we took it, we took it as a challenge, and Alhamdulillah, we managed to translate it, Alhamdulillah. Right? Into Malay, into, into Malay, from Arabic to Malay. Into English also? Uh, no, 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 it's not, it's called a popular book, but it's not popular. <laughs> it's not that popular. <laughs> okay, this is my latest book, you know. Uh, this is uh, the thing when I first got the book, then the first one I go and see was uh, of uh, Musa, and then I get some motivation from him. And then because he wrote the preface for the book as well. Okay, yeah, thank you very much for God. Inshallah, he's uh, getting well soon. He's in love. Okay. And then, of course, you have to take advantage of celebrity, you know. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I get uh, Dr. Salida, Dr. Nick Salida also to write, and it's, it's, it's uh, part of the motivation uh, words in my book, Dr. Nick Salida. Uh, she used to be my, my student, yeah, she was my student when I was teaching in the UAE, but that's very, very good because I have few, about six, seven students, uh, my ex student here, uh, lecturing at uh, 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 FSU, eh? Alhamdulillah. They're good now because, because uh, you know, this is a, this, the good part of it. 
when you write a book, especially a popular book, you know, you can become popular at a particular time, only a very limited time, you know, because during the buffet, uh, last, last buffet, 2017, about two months ago, so I went to the publisher, the MPH, the, 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 the punya counter in, the punya kiosk, and then the, the book, so I go and they say, I say to them, okay, I'm, I'm a, 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 the author of your books. I wanted to, you know, help you to sell the book. Is it possible? Okay, come, 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 come. So I go there and then I talk to people, come, 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 this book, you know. I do it. I do it. This, this is your book. You're selling, you get, you get. You